Hey everyone! I hope you guys are having a good week, and I know it's been a while since I made a video, but as you guys know, I was out of town for my friend's wedding, and it was really, really nice. I had a really good time, um, but now I'm back, so I'm going to really try and pound out some videos for you guys, because I'm really excited about this. So, what my video is going to be today is a DIY, and I'm actually going to show you how to make four different things. I'm going to show you how to make brush cleanser. I'm going going to show you how to make um, like Mac Fix Plus. Only obviously it's not going to be Mac, but it will be. Um, it'll do the same same job. I'm going to show you how to melt down your lipsticks and make lip gloss. And lastly, I'm going to show you how to make primer. So let's get started. So I'm not going to make a new batch of the brush cleanser for you guys because I already have two cool things of it. I have. Um, but I'm, I will tell you how to make it. Um, for the brush cleanser, what you're going to need is um, rubbing alcohol, water, um, then you're also going to need shampoo. Whichever kind you use on your hair is fine. Um, if you have baby shampoo, that, that works also. And the last thing you're going to need is dish soap. So you will need one cup of water, a fourth a cup of rubbing alcohol, a half of your shampoo, and a half a teaspoon of dish soap. And what you're going to do is just mix them in a bowl and then stir them really slowly because you don't want it to like suds up. And then after that happens, if you have a funnel, it helps a lot and you can just pour it into these little bottles. The next thing I'm going to do for you guys is um, show you how to make your own primer. Now, so it's fairly expensive. So using just two items that you probably already have around your house, you can make your own. So, for your eyeshadow primer, the first thing you're going to need is a moisturizing lotion. I'm just using Vaseline um, Cocoa Butter Deep Conditioning Lotion. And then you're going to need a liquid foundation. And mine is CoverGirl Advanced Radiance Olay Ingredients. Uh, you're going to need a container with a lid. Um, Alright, for this, you're just going to take your container pour about that much into there because I want to fill up my container. It's up to you how much you want. Um, then I like to use a bobby pin and just fill, fill up your container with your foundation. So then you have that. So you can see the foundation and the lotion are both in there. Then take your bobby pin and mix it up really well. Yeah, mine's just about done. And this is what it looks like when you're finished. So, Alright, so then you're just going to want to go ahead and screw the lid on that and you have homemade primer. Alright, so next I'm going to show you how to make um, Fix Plus. This is super easy and this is going to save you guys oodles of money just like your primer. So the first thing you're going to need is a tablespoon. And I'm just using the measuring cup and you're going to need a half a tablespoon of glycerin. So I'm going to fill up this whole bottom round part with glycerin. You can find this. I found this at Walmart in the pharmacy department. I believe it was like $2.98. So super, super cheap. Okay. And then I just have a little, it's actually a spray bottle, and it's labeled Fix Plus. Um, I also got this at Walmart. It was $0.98. Cents. Go ahead and pour your glycerin. And just because some of it's stuck to the bottom, I'm just going to pour like a little tiny bit more in here. Now that was a half a tablespoon that I just did. 
Then I just have a cup of water here. And you are going to do one part glycerin, three parts water, or a tablespoon and a half. So I just filled this up, and I'm just going over top of my um, cup of water. I'm going to have to fill that up. Okay. Now, I want, like, at least a half a bottle. This, you can only keep this for about two weeks. And then you have to dump it out and make new. That's all right. Then you're going to put your lid on. And just carefully shake it back and forth. You have your fixed plus. All right. So the last thing I'm going to show you guys how to do is melt down your lipstick and make lip gloss out of them. Now, what you will need for this is a metal spoon. It can be really any size. Vaseline, and a lipstick of your choice. So I just got these ones. They are NYC. Take a look. All right, so I got these three. So the reason why I bought these ones is because they are cheap. They are 93 cents at Walmart. So the first thing that you are going to do, take your Vaseline, you get out of there. And put it on your spoon. And I think the first one that I want to do, I want to use this color. So this was my chiffon. And all you're going to do you need some scissors, and you are going to cut the top of your lipstick off. This is why I said get cheap ones. Because if you guys are like me, you don't, I mean, we all take makeup seriously, and we don't want to, like, destroy our makeup. So if you buy a 93-cent lip gloss, I don't think it's going to, like, I don't think anybody will freak out about that. All right, and the last thing you're going to need is your straightener. So mine's plugged in, and all you're going to do is sit your spoon on your straightener so that, until these melt. And I'll let you guys see this because it happens pretty quickly. Okay, so they're pretty melted up, and I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. I'm just going to take my bobby pin and stir it real quick for you guys. So just go ahead and lift it up off of there, and mix the colors around. Okay, and then you're going to go ahead and take your little container. You can get these at any uh, drugstore. I got a huge pack of them at Big Lots for like three bucks. And then you just take your spoon and you dump it in there. All right, so I just let this lip gloss harden. Um, I put it in the freezer for about 10 minutes and this is the finished product. That is what you have and you can do that with like, with any color you guys, Vaseline, any color, put on a spoon, put on a straightener, melt it down, you have lip gloss. This will last as long as you want it to. Like I said, the um, the Fix Plus, you're going to have to do every two weeks. Um, your primer is just your, uh, is just your lotion and your foundation, so that will last you until it's gone. And same thing with your lip gloss. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video, and I really, um, I had fun making it and sharing these tips with you guys because I just think that it's so important to save money. And if you come, don't forget to rate. And I will probably talk to you guys all, if not later tonight, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. All right, bye.